We are doing Thanksgiving yoga to prepare for the Thanksgiving family event and dinner. Let's begin at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down. Standing where all your chakras are aligned. Standing is a very powerful pose. Starting the practice standing, being rooted, standing tall has a powerful meaning, powerful vibration, symbolism. Beginning to deepen the breath and feel the body, feel the strength of the body. Feel the alignment. Feel the breath flowing like a river, the river of life. Quieting the mind and visualizing the breath spreading into every cell of your body, bringing vitality, force, life force. Deepening the breath as the breath is one of the most important parts of the practice. Inhale the hands over the head, lifting, arching, exhaling down. In a forward bend, softening the hamstrings here, you can move side to side, keep your knees slightly bent, softening the face muscles, softening the eyelids, softening the jaw. And let's bring the hands onto the shin bones. Look ahead of you and pull your belly in. One of the main aspects of power yoga is the core connection. So establishing core connection, connection to your powerhouse. Lowering the hands on the ground, step it back. Plank again, strong core. Drawing the navel in, the body is in one flat line, crown to heels. Lowering down, Chaturanga, either lower all the way onto your belly and do Cobra or come into upward facing dog. Lengthening the back of the neck, widening the upper back, Chaturanga optional, and exhale downward facing dog, really spread the fingers open. Slowing the breath down, which builds strength, endurance, willpower, health, vitality. Inhale the right leg up, look between your hands, 
Step the right foot between the hands. Press the back heel away from you and come up. High lunge. Bringing all your attention to your breath, which will calm your mind for tonight's dinner. It will center you and ground you. Exhale, flat back all the way down, step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, optional second chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Stepping through, inhale on the way up. Strong, lunge. As you inhale, prepare lower down on an exhalation. Plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Cobra or upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, bend the knee here and open the knee out, circling the knee here. Look between your hands, step it through, drop the back heel down and come up, warrior two. Take a nice strong warrior. Still focusing on the breath, your guiding force here. reverse the warrior, walking the left hand down the left leg, reach and lift, walking towards the fingertips, we kneel the hands all the way to the floor, plank, strong core, chaturanga, upward facing dog, Chaturanga, downward facing dog. The breath is flowing freely. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down, warrior two directly. Softening the shoulders here, softening the gaze externally, rotating the right hip, knee over the left ankle, pointing directly forward, soften the hands without too much effort in the hands, stay effortless. Even soft, even fluid.
focusing on your breath. Let's turn the left palm of the hand up. Bring the right hand down the right leg, soften the shoulders, lengthen here. your thumb, base of the index, base of all fingers, with focus on the thumb, pressing the heels away from your strong core because digestion is very important, <laughs> core values, and we're going to bring the right knee to the left elbow, center, right elbow back, try not to touch the mat, let's go circle, one, Two, three, four, five changing sides. One, two, three strong, four, five, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale the right leg up, stepping through warrior one, coming up, pressing the right hip back, left hip forward, soften your belly, find strength in effortlessness, in ease, strength is a quality of the spirit, it is within us, it's not something we have to force, it's something we can tap into, it's within us. Integrity is within us, strength is within us. And from here we're going to transition into warrior three. Level the hips. Step it back to high lunge. Exhale, the hands down, plank. And we're going to do 10 knee circles with the right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, step it down, Chaturanga, Cobra, or Upward Dog. And Chaturanga optional, Downward Dog. Inhale the left leg up. Bend the knee and do a few circles here. Great, let's step the left foot between the hands. Warrior one alignment, coming up straight back. And breathe. Aligning with your own strength. Easing into strength, aligning with your strength. It is in, in you, in there. Working that right hip forward, pressing into the back heel. If you feel torque in your right knee, keep a little bent in the knee and you can step your feet a little wider apart. So it's not heel to heel, but the feet can be all the way up to hip width apart, such as stepping it out a little and that can make the pose a little easier. listening to the body and seeing what works for your body at this stage. Everything changes constantly, so we are constantly listening. From here we will transition into warrior three. Straight back, level the hips, 
focus. Step it back, exhale it down, plank, knee circles with the left knee, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, step it back, Chaturanga, either Cobra Rock Dog, Chaturanga, exhale, Down Dog, let's look under the right shoulder, under the left, softening, the breath is free and powerful, Inhale the right leg up. Step into warrior one. Open the arms out. Twist here to your right. Bring the right hand down, left arm up. From here you will look ahead of your right foot and bring that left hand somewhere in front of the right foot revolving half moon lengthening from the right hip to the rib cage finding length and step it back in high lunge with a twist, hands in prayer and lower down, elbow on the outside of the right knee, great release, lower down, plank, strong core and we're going to bring the right shin bone to the left forearm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Shake your head, soften, scanning the body for tension and breathing in the releasing tension. Take the left leg up, big breath in, step it through, warrior one. softness where there is too much will or desire if you want to will parts of your body somewhere soften there rather than will the body into a pose open the arms out and twist drop the left arm down right arm up look up From here you will look ahead of you and lower the right hand somewhere in front of that foot. I'm having an extra challenge of a wall right in front of my eye gaze which I find to be the most challenging thing ever. Okay, after motherhood. <laughs> Step 
Stepping back to high lunge. With a twist, hands in prayer, lengthen, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, soften. Get that inner fire, digestive fire going here. Great. Hands on the ground, boom. Let's do shin bone to right. Forearm, one, two, strong, steady, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Softening the face muscles, looking to the left and right. Inhale the right leg up, stepping through high lunge. Hands behind the head, press the elbows back, open the chest, lifting the chest up to the ceiling, elbows back, lengthening the back of the neck. Coming back to neutral and we're going to lower the right elbow down, left elbow up, feel that stretch through your hip flexor, psoas, you can explore here and turn the elbow in, right elbow in, out, lengthening the neck, back to center. Release, bring your hands a couple of inches in front of your right foot and we're going to bring the knee to the forehead, extend the leg back, knee to forehead, leg back, three, four, five, rounding the back, six, seven, really, Flexing eight, nine, ten. From here, bend the right knee and straighten the back. Come up to standing onto the right leg. Knee, left knee into the rib cage. Open it out. Three pose. Hold it here. From here, bring the knee back up into the rib cage. Bring the leg behind you and across. We're going to cross the body, left leg to the right. Step it back and feel it here. Just to reach, 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 and feel it. Feel the pose. Great. Coming out of this. Back to standing on the right leg, we're going to step back in high lunge, one legged chair, cross, lunge, back lunge, cross lunge, back lunge, cross, back, cross, back, cross, back, Cross, back, cross, back, cross, 
back, cross, back, cross, back, hold it, reaching over the head. Lower the back knee down and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more twist. Yeah, it should be burning. <laughs> Smile and lower down plank. Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Let's drop the knees onto the ground, coming for camel pose up onto the knees, knees are hip width, elongating the tailbone down, extending the tailbone down. Open the chest up. Coming out of this invigorating plank. Chaturanga, up dog, flow, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. High lunge, elbows behind the head without pulling on the head, press the elbows back, open the chest up, feel it. Coming out of this and lower left elbow down. Down, right up, feel that opening, stretching psoas and obliques and hip flexor, even quads, it's just fabulous. It's a gorgeous stretch, getting in, feeling the body rather than avoiding feeling. Coming out of this, look in front of your foot, bring your hands a few inches in front of your foot and let's do knee tucks. One, really rounding and pulling the belly in, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bending the left knee, straightening the back, come up to standing knee into the rib cage, and you can find three poses here. Opening that knee, press the foot into the inner thigh. Flexing the glute can help here to open because we're stretching the adductors. Flexing the opposite side can help. So slight tuck of the tailbone, not over tucking. Extension of the tailbone, we're tucking with the actually glutes. Flexing here can help to open the opposing muscle. And it should feel good.
bend the left leg, bring the right leg behind and across, step it out and feel that stretch. You can bring your arms in and deep on that stretch. Rather than us trying to avoid healing the body all day long as yogis, we go in, we go into the darkness, we go into the uncomfortable places, we grow. We face ourselves, we learn who we are. Great coming out of this and keeping keeping the left leg in chair, step it across, lunge or side, cross lunge, back lunge, back lunge, side, back, side, back, side, back, side, back, side, back, side, back, side, really feel it, back, side, back, side, back, side, back, side, back, side, back, hold, ten. let's lower the knee down, feel that opening in the hip flexor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lengthen, twist. Release, step it back, drop the knees on the ground, and move the spine here. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Chaturanga, Down Dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, Warrior Two. Let's bring the left arm back and around, right arm up and over. Straightening the lead knee, reaching, reach ahead of you. Triangle, extending the tailbone. Soften the shoulders, soften the gaze. Toes active, the legs are active. Looking down, let's bend the right knee, come back into warrior two. Hands in prayer, and we're going to bring the right elbow on the inside of the right knee. Either stay here or clasp under. Hands on the ground, walk your back foot back, and you can take a little variation or precursor to splits. Step it back plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Sophie, my dog is reminding us to just when we chill to really <laughs> chill, snore and everything. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. Let's bring the right arm back and around, left arm up and over. 
lengthen. Open the right hip, straightening the leg, coming out, reaching ahead, keep opening the hip, lower down, extending the tailbone down. You can release the hand to keep it there. Keeping the knee slightly bent. From here, you can bend the left knee and come back into warrior two. Hands in prayer. Keep the length lower down here. Elbow pressing into the knee. Or you can clasp under. Release, level the hips, lower down here. And back onto your knees, a few tail wiggles. You can even look at your tailbone side to side. Let's bring now the right Hand palm facing up underneath, underneath the shoulder, looking up if you can. Opposite side. out of this and lower down in child's pose. Take a few moments in child's pose, really letting go of resistance and tension. Reminding yourself that the present moment is it. It's where it is at. Soften the shoulders. Inhale your hands over the head, coming up, down dog. Let's open the right leg, knee on top of the, over the hip, lift, lower it down in wild thing. Coming out of it to pigeon. Lengthening ribcage away from the hips, lower down. You can move your chin here side to side, tuck your chin in and move it side to side to lengthen the back of the neck.
down dog knee circles. Left leg comes up, open the knee, lower it down, lift the hips, wild thing. Coming out of this, flex the foot, pigeon. Lifting the rib cage away from the hips and then lower down, keep that length. Slowly coming up, one legged down dog, a few circles or a few moves. Coming down onto the knees, I will double pack my mat and place my hip bones onto the mat. If you have soft floor, you don't need to do that. Lay down onto your back and here either go into cobra. Superman, or you can grab your ankles and lift. Release. And one more time. Lift. And lower down. Let's sit down. Extend the legs in front of you. Forward bend. Coming up. Bending the left knee and right knee into the foot here you can twist to your left coming out of this changing twist all the way to the right one more time coming out of this and lower down onto your back Feet parallel to each other. Bridge pose. Lifting. Chest to the chin. Pressing into all four corners of each foot. Lower down. Legs over the head. Plow. Hands onto the lower back, shoulder stand. Knees on the outside of the ears. Slowly lower out of 
two hour, one whatever at a time. Once your tailbone reaches the floor, flex your feet, pull the belly in, press your lower back into the floor, reach up, touch your toes, contracting the belly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you can roll up to sit it, coming into simple seated position, Sukhasana, easy, easy pose, roll the shoulders back and down, softening the face muscles, bring yourself back into the present moment and allowing yourself to make a commitment, create an intention for the rest of your day to carry that calm feeling throughout your day. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. I would love to hear from you. Namaste.